from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Megan Shen, and here's a look at your top stories. New developments as officers make an arrest in connection to a deadly shooting at an apartment building on the north side of Indy. On July 12th, IMPD found 19-year-old Elijah Martin with a gunshot wound near East 34th and Meridian Streets. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Detectives learned he was shot inside one of the apartment buildings in the 3300 block of North Meridian Street. Martin contacted a citizen who flagged down the officer for help and yet Yesterday, IMPD arrested an 18-year-old man for his role in the shooting. This week, NDOT is working to open Interstate 465 westbound ahead of schedule. In a release, NDOT says it plans to open the busy southwest side interstate stretch before morning rush hour on Thursday. That's two days ahead of schedule. The recent closure of I-465 are part of the process of widening the interstate to four lanes by the end of 2024. Drivers are asked to continue being cautious in the area as crews work nearby. Todd, it is Tuesday. has the forecast? Yeah, temperatures are warming here. We'll top off right around 90 degrees in most locations with lots of hazy sunshine. There's just an extremely small chance of an isolated storm popping up in southern locations later on this afternoon. 99% of us remain completely dry, but today does start a warming trend uh, that'll take us all the way to near 100 degrees by the time we get to Friday. And then you'll see temperatures start to drop off a little bit back to more seasonable levels by the end of the weekend. But as some of the really hot air comes in tomorrow, there will be the chance of some strong to severe storms. Most of central Indiana under the slight risk for severe weather, but there is a pocket of enhanced risk of severe storms to the north. The main impact would be wind, but two opportunities for severe storms in the morning hours. And then once again, as we get into the afternoon and early evening. All right, Todd, thank you. And for more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.